This is Susie. Right now she's playing at a 3.0 level and I'll be teaching her the skills that she needs to play at 4.0. Susie, we're gonna level up your game today. Yay! Susie and I started the lesson by playing some mini singles. As you can see, she's got a pretty solid game for being a 3.0. She's hitting a variety of different shots with control and is even making some nice gets. But the main thing she's struggling with at this level is inconsistency. <laughs> I asked her how she thought it went and she said this. I don't know how to aim. I would say like for aiming, the main thing you need to think about, you wanna have your paddle face pointing towards your target and then you want to be hitting small motions in that direction. So if I wanted to aim like over here, my paddle face needs to be facing that way. And then I just like gently push that direction. Okay. If I go for a big swing, now my paddle face is over here. It's going to go crazy. Yeah, it might go crazy. Now that we know how to aim, it's time to go through the three skills you need to get to 4.0. The first one's going to be transition resets. Okay, so that's yeah. like playing in the midcourt here and being able to gently hit balls back over the net. I need that. So the first thing we're gonna do here, I'm not gonna have a paddle, you will. Okay. You'll be working on hitting the ball up to yourself and catching it. And this is just the progression that will eventually get us to resetting from transition. You'll have your paddle in front of you and I'm gonna toss it to either side. Okay. I just want you to, whichever side I toss it to, move your paddle that direction, open up your paddle face so it's pointing more like towards the sky. So I can't. And then try to catch the ball. Okay. Okay. Your paddle is close to your body, and so when you're going to hit this ball, you're having to move your paddle to catch it, and that's why it's going forward. So start okay. with your paddle out here, okay. and then just move it left or move it right. Okay. Let's try that. Hey, good job. Nice job. All right, next version of this, hit it with your paddle, hit it with your paddle again, and then catch it. Nice job. And all we're doing right now is just working on like getting some touch and some control. Nice job. That's one that's going to get you a lot. If a ball ever comes on this side of your body, a lot of people tend to do what you just did and like chicken wing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a couple things you could do. Either just slide with it and take it on the backhand or kind of lean to your left and take it with the forehand. Okay. okay. But try to avoid chicken winging. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want you to step close to that kitchen line. I'm going to now hit it with my paddle softly at you. Okay. So now you'll be reading it off my paddle. Okay. Here you go. I'm sorry. Here you go. Just to go one touch and catch it. Nice. Try to watch that ball all the way until it hits your paddle face here. What we're gonna do now is progress it a little bit further. You'll be at the kitchen line still. I'll be tossing a ball to you. And now instead of resetting to yourself, I want you to reset to me. Okay. And I'll be standing right here. Okay. So a couple things to remember, paddle out, slightly extended, knee slightly bent. Yeah. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. Sugar. You're good, so hey, just like we did before, Watch this ball all the way to the center of your paddle. Okay. okay. Nice job. Nice job. Oh yeah. All right, let's progress it with my paddle now. So same thing, but now I'm hitting it and you're gonna reset it over the net. Okay. Okay, there's a little bit of a swing. Try to take that away. Nice. Now I'm not gonna catch it. I'm just gonna keep hitting it back at you and see if we can get a little rally going, okay? okay. Paddle extended a little bit. There you go, nice job. Oh yeah, nice job. As we get back, the balls will be going a little bit lower to the ground. So I'll have this lower. Yeah, so same thing, just bend your knees, extend your paddle in front of you, but just now you're not keeping it near your chest, you're keeping it more close to like your belly button, maybe knees area. Okay. Try to um, meet the ball out in space rather than letting it get so close to your body. Some of these are going a little higher and you're waiting for it to get to your body and that means you're having to hit up from here. Okay. But if you took it out here, then you can hit it with that proper angle. Okay. Nice, that's so good. Yeah, Susie. Sugar. So the ones that are like going all crazy, they're ones that are hitting like weird parts of your paddle. Like they're just not making center contact. Awesome. Susie, oh my gosh. What what changed there for you? I tried to watch the ball to the paddle, which I've heard people say before, but I never understood how to do that because I feel like if I'm watching the ball to the paddle, how do I know where I'm trying to put it? 
you, you made me understand why I'm watching the ball to the paddle is so where I can put my paddle kind of where it needs to be. The first step is to make that good contact. Yeah. And then we can work on where am I aiming this ball? Susie just made a ton of progress in a short amount of time. So now it's time to move on to the second skill she'll need to know to get to 4.0, knowing when to move in off of a third shot drop. So the next progression is from resets to third shots and we're gonna go third shot drops. And I want you to start by doing drop feeds to yourself, standing right here at the baseline. And I want you to drop a ball in front of your right foot because you're right-handed yeah. to drop it like here and then slightly bend your knees, paddle tip down, really important here, and then just a really small motion forward. So it'd be like this, really small motion forward. And that's as simple as it is. Take your time on these reps and make sure they're quality and you're not just rapid firing, okay? Perfect. You're taking a, uh, you're taking a big backswing. And so what's happening is your backswing is coming behind your body and you're not seeing your paddle oh, anymore. Right. And so so by my the brain time you, doesn't know how to hit, hit it. Yeah. You don't know where your paddle is in space. <gasps> nice Thank you. I think one thing that you said is that your partners feel like you come in too, too fast. Yeah. They, they said creep up, but if I hit it and it goes over the net, nobody says anything about who <laughs> hey, you creeped up. But if I, if I miss it or if it hits my feet and I can't get it, then it's like, well, you creeped up. So, oh, oh, and I don't even know why did I do it? Am I trying to get to the kitchen line every time? I don't gotcha. know. Let me give you the, the biggest tip I can give you for when to know if you can come in or stay back off your drops. The biggest thing you need to focus on as you hit your third shot drops or just third shots in general is where your opponent's paddle goes. So if your opponent's paddle is going here below the net and they're taking the ball from really low, the only place they can hit that ball is yes. here. Yeah, and so what that means is that you can come up as close as you want. So when your partner is hitting a ball and you see your opponent go like this, that's your key to come in. Okay. If they're hitting it from high, what do you think you do? Stay back. Yeah, maybe even back up, right? And if they're hitting the ball from like here, about like, you know, barely above the net, what would you do? Get ready to be hit. <laughs> here, you stay back or even back up. Okay. As it gets lower, you might think about coming a step in, but you need to be ready before they hit the ball. Okay. And then from below the net, you're come free. In. Yeah, you can come in all you want. Okay. So let's let's work on that a little bit. I would stay. Why? No, I would come forward. Yeah. If you're hitting great drops, you can come in. Okay. I would um I would get ready to get hit. Yeah, this one was a little high. I might even back up a bit. But yeah, definitely get ready. I'd, I would come in. Yeah, you come in. I would, I would come in because it was kind of below the net. Yeah, so there's, a, there's like a range here. So like at the net height, you might come in a step. Below the net here, you're coming in all the way. Okay. I'm coming forward. All the way, all the way. And why would you come forward on that? Because you can only hit it up. Yeah, what's the other thing I, I might do from down here? If I'm a smarter player and I'm hitting the ball from here, what else could I do? Can I show you? Yeah. Oh, you could dink it. Just yeah, very, a I little dink. dink. So, you, so you need to be up so at the net. So I'm coming, if you're down here and I come in forward, if it's a dink, I can get it. I'm yeah. already halfway there. If I was trying to tell you how to get from 3-0 to 4-0, I would tell you these three things. I would say, get good at resetting from transition, hit better third shot drops and know like when to come in and when to stay back. And the third thing I would say is you got to get good at letting out balls go and just playing defense right here, okay? Okay. So that's what we're going to work on. What I'm about to do is I'm just going to drop and hit a ball. I don't want you to react at all other than just saying in or out. Okay. Out. It was in. <laughs> in. Out. In. Yeah. All right, a good margin. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say in. It was in. That's out. That's out. You knew that <laughs> one was out. That, that's a lob. That could have been in. That was pretty far out. Okay. So I would say you're probably batting like maybe 50% here. A couple of key things to look for here. So number one, if I'm hitting below the net, like pretty low to the net, there's a good chance it's going to be out if it has any pace at all. So if I'm here and I hit like kind of hard, it's way out. I hit the fence. If I'm here and I hit like even softer, still pretty far out. So if someone's trying to attack you from below the net, even if they're not hitting it hard, like 
still out, okay? So that's number one. Just see like if they're attacking from low or if they're attacking from high. Out. Out. In. That's out. It's out. You don't have to look at it. It's low, I'm hitting it kind of hard. Like it's just out. out. Next thing, how far back is my paddle going before I hit it? I know you see this all the time, especially like where you're playing right now. People yes. have this motion. Yeah. If you see that, just get out of the way. Okay. Because this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Right? But it's it's like you want to hit it. Right? Yeah. But it's just out every time. I mean, maybe they get lucky and hit one in. Maybe, but it's very unlikely. Okay, so those are the two things. Where are they hitting it from? and how big is their swing. So if you ever see this, what are you doing? It's out. It's out. Yeah, you didn't Because have to, you swung you just backed and, away. You're, and you're up. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good day. Thank you. I hope you got better. Yes, I hope so too. Thank Good. you. If you want to go to the next level, then click here to learn seven essential pickleball tips that every 5.0 uses.